Uh, my name is Sonia Costa. I'm 19 and I'm a student here at the University of New Mexico. And now that we have a new governor, um, congratulations, Mrs. Martinez. Um, I think it's very important that she keeps in mind the rights of undocumented immigrants. Um, I feel that some of her policies might be treating them a little unfairly and I think that she needs to perhaps take a different strategy possibly by making it easier for these citizens to live here instead of more difficult. Um, there's a lot of undocumented immigrants in our state and I understand that there are issues of border security but these are people too and they need to be treated like people. Hi, my name is Philip Raleigh. I'm 21. I'm from Pueblo of Acoma, and I'm currently a student at University of New Mexico studying philosophy. And the things I would, I would first I'd like to congratulate Ms. Ms. Martinez on her election and her campaign. My concerns are about Indian education, more or less both higher and, 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 and uh, high school and the elementary ages. Uh, coming from a high school where it was Native American centric, we were always always given second-hand textbooks, second-hand teachers, second-hand everything and they say it's the students but no it's the people in charge they don't let the, they don't let the students develop themselves and uh, achieve to what they want to become instead they give us negative comments saying you're not good enough blah 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 you know this is we're taking your high school away no you need to go out to the students and understand what they want from the way what they want to learn and not just enforce government institutes taking over the schools Uh, hi, my name is Vincent Nezer. I'm a sophomore here at the University of New Mexico. And um, congratulations, Susana Martinez, for winning your election. Uh, now that you're in office, although I believe it's against your platform that you're running on, I think it's important to legislate for uh, gay rights, for gay marriage, gay adoption, and issues of that sort. Under the Constitution, uh, the First Amendment, there should be no or so there should be separation of church and state and other than the reasons that religion has against gay marriage there is no logical reason that uh, gay men and women should not be able to adopt and get married here in New Mexico. Now I know New Mexico accepts gay marriages from other states other than our own but I think it's important to be able to legislate for marriages here in New Mexico so that we as citizens can use the same rights as every other person to marry the person that we love. My name is Lucia Martinez. I am a senior at Albuquerque High School. I'm 17 years old. And now that we have a new governor um, come January, I would really like her to reevaluate her position on taking the lottery scholarship away from undocumented students because this is really, if she does that, it's going to affect a lot of um, Albuquerque students, Mexican students, really negatively. It's going to take away their education and the possibility for them to go to college and that's really not okay. My name is Alexis. I'm an undergraduate at UNM studying American Studies. Now that uh, we have a new governor in New Mexico, the most important thing to focus on is education and um, obviously helping UNM students is really important to me as an undergraduate and um, keeping tuition rates down would be really helpful and offering more grants and scholarships, more federal money to students. It's, it's expensive being a student and uh, you know, keep the scholarships alive, keep, keep the, the lottery scholarship here. We need it. I need it. Tuition is like going up like ridiculous amount and I think students would definitely appreciate if it wasn't so expensive or if more scholarships were there. I think that we should really focus on putting more funds into education and hiring better teachers, getting more resources, making class sizes smaller and um, increasing um, the quality of education.
My name is uh, Ben Abbott and I'm a graduate student in the history department here at UNM. Now that we have a new governor, um, I don't think this is very realistic, but I want her to look at police brutality, the, all the shootings here in Albuquerque, and, uh, and police brutality is a problem all across New Mexico. So that's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see a police force, like there's there's a bill, I think it's the, I forget the exact title, the name of the bill, but it's based on, um, it's based on a Iraq war veteran who was killed by the police here in Albuquerque, and it's to give all police crisis intervention training. So things like that, I want to have, have a, a less violent police force. My name is Victor Torres, I'm 18 years old and I go to, I attend the Media Arts Collaborative Charter School where I am currently a senior. Now, um, since we have elected a new governor, I would like um, Susana Martinez to focus on, um, on better resources for education, um, more funding, more hands-on and project-based learning. I think that's important because I think it will keep the kids' interest. So that's what I would say is better resources for education. Um, I would like to congratulate Cesaro Martinez on a victory and let's move forward in making education better in the city of New Mexico.